Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I wanted to talk quickly on the Surface Pro 8 that was announced today. There's a couple different things that I think weren't shared, and I'm sure that's for a variety of different reasons, including time management uh, for them during the presentation. So a couple things that I believe I know because of uh, some additional research and understanding some of the internals of what's going on here. Uh, the Surface Pro 8 is in the Surface Pro X chassis which means it has the same screen brightness, as far as I understand, is it 12.5 or 1 8th? Um, 1 8th uh, <laughs> increase in brightness. So that means from the Surface Pro 7, 7 plus 400 nit brightness, it's up to 450, which is what the Surface Pro X is. It has the footprint of the Surface Pro X, which means that the keyboards will not swap. You can't take a Surface Pro 7 keyboard and put it on a Surface Pro 8 and use it. From what I understand, that's what's going on here. The Surface Pro X keyboard and the Surface Pro 8 keyboard are interchangeable from what I understand. So those things are really important. Those are questions that I had. Battery, I believe, is uh, the same or very, very similar to the Surface Pro 7 Plus, which is a significant improvement. The Surface Pro 8 uses a slightly more powerful processor uh, than the Surface Pro 7 Plus. The Surface Pro 7 has a considerably slower processor. There's a big jump between the 7 and the 7 Plus, and this is almost exactly the same jump. 7 to 8 or 7 to 7 Plus is about the same. The Surface Pro 7 is not cheap. Sur the Surface Pro 7 Plus isn't cheaper than the Surface Pro 8. Don't buy the Surface Pro 7 Plus anymore. It doesn't have the 120 hertz refresh screen. It does not have the uh, improved inking experience, which I'm told is actually significantly better than the Surface Pro 7, which includes the Surface Pro 7 Plus experience. So that said, don't buy the 7 Plus anymore. Uh, unless you get a good deal on it. It's still very similar performance. If you're doing artwork, then get the 8. It's supposed to be quite a bit better. Now, there was a tweet on uh, Twitter, <laughs> and uh, she's talking about the, the artist who was featured in the presentation. Let's go right here. And let's see. I just sent her a message and asked her directly. Uh, I will throw her response up here on the screen. Uh, right over here, actually. And... Nope, I don't know how to use Twitter. Oh, click on here. My question. Uh, she said... I'll show you here. It says, uh, let's see. Uh, someone said that you'd mentioned the jitter is gone. Is that true? Anything else you can share about drawing on the 120 hertz display? I just, it just feels nice. I don't know. I used a seven briefly and I didn't like it at all, particularly the pen, but this is like a whole other ball game. Honestly, you definitely have to try it yourself, but I like it a lot. And up here, she said, a uh, pen in particular is an unreal improvement. And she's a very talented artist. And found out she's followed by Laosh, who is one of my favorite artists personally, and she follows Alexandria. So I think that's cool. Uh, anyway, uh, Alexandria is saying that it feels like a unreal improvement. Uh, what does that mean? Does it mean that the jitter is gone? I was told that from another source, but I can't confirm it yet. Apparently, it is considerably better. And I believe it. The Surface Slim Pen 2 is supposed to be a significant improvement with haptic feedback. I think that's really neat, but I don't really think that that's necessary for artists. I think with the price difference between the two, uh, by the way, I don't think a third party Bluetooth keyboard like the one I mentioned, the Uogic one, I don't think that will work for the Pro 8. I think that the uh, ports, uh, the little magnetic slots on the bottom are spaced differently if it's the same, which I believe it is, as the Surface Pro X. Surface Pro 7 keyboard will not fit. You could probably snip those off on a Bluetooth one, and uh, it might still magnetically attach. We'll see.
All right, if you guys have other questions about the Pro 8, ask it here. It is a larger device than the Pro 7 by about 0.3 inches um, in, the, not the, in the landscape height. That makes sense. And slightly wider from what I understand, just a little tiny bit. I think that was all the extra stuff that I was trying to find out that I couldn't find somewhere else. Hopefully that helps you guys. I will have more information on my channel about the Surface Pro 8, so subscribe if you haven't. This is a great channel for Windows tablet users. All right, stay creative. I'll see you in the next video.